Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Today we're going to talk about the Aegis Max Ultralight Sleeping Bag. Alright, thanks guys for checking us into this video. Um, like I said, we're going to talk about the Aegis Max Sleeping Bag. Uh, last video I was talking about how I was going ultralight this year, or a whole lot lighter, maybe not ultralight, but in a lot of cases I'm just trying to get the weight down. Um, age has a factor, I like to get out, and I really don't want to carry all the weight on my back. So anyway, I found this little sleeping bag. I had a Kelty 20 degree, it's a little heavier, nice sleeping bag, don't get me wrong. But I'm just using something for three season, and uh, this is going to be it. Um, this one right here. They recommend down to 30, 35. First of all, let me say that I have not used this yet. So this isn't a review. This is just the first look at it. Um, they recommend 30, 35 degrees. Most of you guys already know. And if you don't, um, recommendations is what will, how low it will go and keep you still alive and not comfortable. So I'm probably looking at still sticking around 40, 45 with this. And, uh, and not pushing it beyond that. You know, it is, um, well, out here, let me show you. First of all, it comes in this black. Comes in that, so that's pretty handy. And also comes in a cool green, and you can get a stuff sack as well for storage and stuff like that. But it comes in this cool green. Um, and here's the stuff bag for that one. So you get the black, and that's what's inside this one, and the cool green. And it's got the 20D Sil Nylon. It's the same material that Enlightened Equipment uses in theirs, and you know the price on theirs is really high enough there. So, um, and this is, you can get this anywhere from 65 to 75 bucks, somewhere around there. Um, also, it's 800 down fill. So, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to keep you warm up to 40, 45 degrees. So, basically, uh, the cool thing about this one is, the reason I'm going to switch over to and use this this year, um... Is because it weighs like 16 ounces. Um, here's what it has is a zipper on the side here. And uh, it kind of opens like a quilt. It doesn't go all the way down. And it has a nice foot box in it. So it does open like a quilt. And it does have the Velcro on the top. So, And I did notice with this one that the material doesn't get caught up in it when you're zipping it up. So that's good. I mean, it's, it's it shows a little bit better quality anyway. Um, but it has this Velcro strap on it so you can cover over the zipper so it can't come undone on you tonight. And it's not a full hood, but it does offer a uh, drawstring so you can kind of cinch it up around your neck a little bit. And again, this is the cool lime green color. And I got black for myself and the lime green for my wife. All right. And like I say, it comes in a stuff sack. I mean, it comes in this. I mean, this will shrink it down pretty good. So, uh, again, this is what's going out with me this year. I did have one of the cheaper uh, Walmart sleeping bags. I'm not even going to lie to you. It, it's, it was a cheap bag. And, I mean, 45, 50 degrees. It's climb in it, cover up with it. If you're a summer hiker, um, there's nothing wrong with the bag. There's just nothing wrong with it. It's lightweight. Not as light as this one, though. The reason I, I'm switching over to this this year is sheer weight. 16 ounces so i mean if you have one of the cheaper walmart bags and you're doing it i mean that that was a really a good bag and it was light but again this is lighter i'm gonna go with this one but yeah this is gonna be the setup for for the 2018 and i can tell you if you when you leave these out a little while they puff up it's it's easy to pack pack them back in here but when this is out overnight and you go to put it back in in the morning um, then you fight it in there. So make sure you stuff it in there like this and work your air out, work you down, 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 work you down, compressed. And uh, like I say, they also send this, which is great because you don't want to leave your down compressed all the time. Stuff it back in here and you can hang it in your closet or wherever you keep your gear at. So anyway, um, I'm happy to have this piece of gear and the uh, for my equipment for 2018. Um, and uh, yeah, that's about it. I know for 2018, what is on the agenda. Like I say, this year I'm going to try to film a lot more um, hiking. I mean, I, I like to do my fishing videos and, and take my kayak out. But I really like to, I'm an outdoors kind of guy. 
So this year, I'm going. To, what's on the agenda is I'm going to start my. Um, I'm going to film my Appalachian Trail, Pennsylvania, because I'm I live in Pennsylvania, section hike. So I want to try to accomplish all of Pennsylvania on the AT, Appalachian Trail. I said Appalachian, Southern, Northern. I know it, but um. That's my goal. So it's not, it might not happen all this year because I have so many other trips that I, I want to do. Uh, we're going to do the Pennsylvania West Rim Trail. That's a 30 mile hike, a couple of days on that one. Um, again, we're not pushing a million miles a day. We're going to knock out enough miles in a day to accomplish our goals, but so we can also enjoy the views and enjoy the time and, and just be outside. So uh, that is the, is a couple of the deals this year. We also have um, the Mason-Dixon Trail up in Pennsylvania. It runs from, actually it runs up from where it catches up with the Appalachian Trail. And it goes all the way down into Maryland. It's like 200 miles, 200 something. Don't hold me to any of that. That's on our, our list this year. Maybe not all at once, but some of that. But we do want to do a couple of those trips. And um, hopefully get them filmed and so you can see them. But anyway, um, I have a lot of new gear for 2018. A lot of my older, heavier gear, and I'm not going to say anything about the, the gear I had. Uh, I, have a, I have a Gregory pack. It's a 58. And this year, brand new, for this year, I have the Z-Pax Arc Haw. So if anybody knows about the Z-Pax, um, way lighter, way lighter. Uh, again, brand new. I can't do a review on that. I can, I'll can. i show you an upcoming video on that one. And um, But so far, it's feeling really comfortable. Once again, uh, less weight for me is more comfort, and less weight that I have in gear means more of the fun things that I can take with me for camp night. I mean, like if I wanted to, you know, we wanted to have a little fire, it wouldn't bother me to take some sort of extra fire starter just for wet times, just so I don't have to be out there trying to be, you know, bushcrafting, or we're just trying to enjoy a night out. So anyway... Um, that's about it as far as this goes. There will be other videos. I also uh, let the little cat out of the bag. I did also for this year, I changed out on my, um, I had a Kelty two-man tent. Love the tent. I can't say anything bad about it, but I did change it out to the Z-Pex duplex. And once more, only because of weight. So um, that's the only reason why that Kelty is gone. It held up great. It was an awesome tent. Again, I'm not bashing it, but the other, it's the weight thing. It's the whole weight thing for me right now. So um, look for other videos. Thanks for checking this one out. Again, if you have any questions, post them down below. I'd be glad to answer them. Um, I am going to be getting in this bag soon, even if it's not um, out for a long stay. But I am going to get in this bag and just kind of see where we're at with it. But again, it... it it's not going to matter. It's, it's three season. There you go. It's my three season bag. So this is going to be my summer bag. Win, lose, or draw. This She's my pony this year. So, um, well, actually, this one's mine. So, all right, guys, again, thanks a lot. Sorry if I'm rambling on, and we'll see you on the next video.